I'm Janet Barber from the Psychology and Sociology Division. And uh, I'm going to be speaking with you today about what I've learned from ITPD2, carrying over to ITPD3. And so I'm not, I might not be as savvy as some of my professors who just finished. And so I'm not, I might not be as savvy as some of my professors who just finished. <laughs> but I'm just so proud that I can even get to the Prezi. <laughs> 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 that I have put it as one of my icons on my iPad. I have also uh, integrated uh, some video from my students who have used the iPad to get uh, to a lesson, a flipped lesson that we did. And so since I've noticed also that my students enjoy reading and discussing various non-academic subjects from commercial and popular blogs, and also from movies and they will look at some movie that has nothing whatsoever to do with the lesson, and they try to integrate it into the lesson anyway. And, uh, and so I had to start looking at different movies to ensure that they were able to uh, integrate concepts and theories of psychology correctly. And so one uh, video and lesson that I have shown them is from Nearpod, and so I will be talking about that a little bit later, but it was, uh, or it is, of mice and men. And so with what they love to do with that is, uh, and this is from uh, chapter nine, I think it's personality. And so they love to talk about the id, the ego, and the super ego. Once they learn a lesson and you give them an assignment, whatever lesson you're talking about, they try to force it into <laughs> whatever you're doing. And so uh, what's been good about this is that um, I'm able to now go to different apps, find things they're interested in, uh, have them they keep the phones out anyway, talking to their girlfriends and boyfriends. So now we can essentially have a lesson as well. And I have noticed that uh, from using uh, something called Zaption, and so I'm going to be talking about that, that the students are now more engaged with the phone, but at least it has to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> and it's not that us professors are boring or anything, it's just that school has changed. And I don't call myself being old school, I call it school period. <laughs> so, mm. The other thing I've done is to blog. They're always talking about blogging and texting with their friends and this kind of thing. And someone said, they're getting away from Twitter a little bit, so I'm not quite sure what they're doing now. <laughs> but uh, they do talk about Facebook, and they told me that's getting old. And so, <laughs> is that true? And yeah. so, uh, anyway, so what, we've, uh, what I've done is to allow a blog within my blackboard. And so the purpose of the blog, uh, in the Prezi, I'm going to be showing you a Prezi in a moment, is to learn about Ubu lesson, and also uh, through their talking and discussing uh, through the blog, how to teach each other how to cite APA. And so uh, that becomes a lively discussion. And so we have had lessons in the classroom, we take them to the library, and then in talking with my colleagues, for some reason, they just tend just to, now I understand it, they tend not to just understand why in the world, when you type a title, why is it lowercase? The first letter only you, uh, is uppercase, then the rest of them are lowercase. They're like, my third grade teacher, Ms. Pinchback, told me to do this. And so I said, I understand that. And so those very small things sort of catch them up in there. And so they ask very simple questions uh, within um, their discussion with each other as to what they need to do. I uh, impress upon them that they are going to be going to a lot of conferences and seminars, that they're also going to be speaking, and that's why I also have a speaking lesson within my uh, class. And we also always have a thing, uh, in at least in one or two of my classes, and I teach mostly general psychology. However, I also teach social psychology and personnel and adjustment. It's been a while since I taught abnormal psychology. But uh, in a way, we have a theme in my class, and it's called positive psychology. And so uh, no matter what we're talking about, since you're talking about psychology, the first thing that comes to mind is schizophrenia, bipolar, and, uh, you know, and all these other things. And so where do you find the positive in everything that you're learning as you go forward from chapter 1 to chapter 15? And so, um, so positive psychology is looking at um, not always the negative side of psychology, but what can you learn from people who are happy? What can you learn from people who have uh, a good sense of subjective way of being? And so within those things, we're also learning that um, when you have uh, 
good subjective way of being or positive, that even when you are stressed, you can also find the you stress, perhaps. Because sometimes in order to be motivated, you need a little bit of stress in order to be um, productive. And so, now, I say all that to say, in this particular classroom, General Psychology 1010, and this is the book that they use, I brought this textbook only because I want to show that, as I say, I'm not old school, but I'm about school. And so I love the feel of the book. I also like, to, uh, thank goodness, I also <laughs> like the feel of the e-book that I have, because sometimes I forget about, it's very heavy. So I decide <laughs> not to carry it to class because I have the e-book online as well. And so that is very helpful. And I must admit, just from uh, taking the, um, the ITPD 2 and 3 has encouraged me to understand and know that the e-book is just fine because I really did used to carry this thing around. But what you, see on the, what you see on the overhead now is one example of an integrated lesson that we have in General Psychology 1010. This is called Launchpad. They have a slew of electronic information and computer lessons and activities that they can use. And so I did not want to overwhelm my students for this 10 time class because uh, they have so much to do. And so every week they're doing a launch pad lesson. And so since they do love uh, the uh, information from Zaption so much, I have, do I skip to the right thing here? I have integrated uh, Zaption into their le uh, lessons. And so let me tell you what Zaption is. Zaption provides video tools and it's used to create interactive academic media that students can relate to and information that is relevant to their ebook or their physical textbook, as I just demonstrated. And so I've also uh, integrated some, uh, well, one uh, movie and one uh, lesson into my Blackboard site for 1010. But they, uh, as I said, they have so many activities, very interesting activities from uh, Macmillan Launchpad that they can uh, integrate into each chapter that, uh, and this was extra credit. And so I went there and only one person had uh, completed that particular lesson. So I'm working on finding a way to get them to actually go into the Blackboard. And it works better, I'm sure, with uh, classes that's not, that don't have all these things from uh, some other source. And so I'm going to be using it in my uh, social psychology class uh, this summer. But with Zaption, you can create a tour and uh, they're sometimes called libraries and some other uh, apps. You have uh, the option of using uh, ready-made Zaption tools, uh, tools, tools, T-O-U-R-S, or you may create your own uh, video tour and your own library, which I plan to do. And uh, they relate everything, all of these perspectives they learn in the first or second week of class. And so these perspectives can be used from chapter one to chapter 15. So certainly when we got to the chapters on stress, and where to find the positive in stress, you stress. And when we got to the information on stereotype threat, which of course this week is like uh, very interesting to the students the past week or so, because they can find in social media and in the media what, uh, how that relates to real world events. And so how will our, what are the psychodynamics here with the individual? What are the humanistic things you can find? What are the behavior things? What, how have people been uh, behaving? And why have they behaved in that manner? But I am sure, and so, and this is how, um, no matter what you learn in psychology, you can always relate it to another discipline. And so, what is Zaption? Well, it's a good question. Zaption is a free online tool that lets you do things like this. And I'm going to type in my answer. I'm going to say true, and then I'm going to submit. This is what the or question ask questions like this. Type in a response here. Type in an opening question and then you submit. And so students sign up for a free account and they can answer the questions. Zaption has powerful analytic tools to let you see how the students did. Zaption lets you search popular internet sites like YouTube, Vimeo, and Edutopia and add interactive elements to engage the class. Zaption's fun and it's free. Check out the following slides to learn how to get started. 
for the Zepson lesson that we were doing was called Stereo Threat and Stress. And so I had a speaker come in, and uh, that was uh, Dr. Henry White, uh, Professor Henry White, Jr. And uh, because he's in uh, criminal justice, and so he spoke with the students very briefly, and he also assisted with ensuring that I got this Zepson up and running for the students. And also on Zepson, you can press the button at the top, and you can show uh, your share. And so the students, what I've really enjoyed and lessons learned is that um, the students use uh, laptop, uh, laptops, they use tablets, uh, their, their smartphones, and even my dumb phone came in handy sometimes for the uh, stereotype threat that uh, the, t uh, the students from the lessons they had learned from the textbook, they were able to look at these things visually and also able to retain the information better. It went beyond their short-term memory into their long-term memory, which means learning. And so they learned the information, and we know that just from a short uh, interactive um, quiz that we had uh, within our Blackboard site. And the reason, I think the only reason that they might have completed that particular uh, quiz is because it was in class. You know, the teachers standing there would say, okay, we're gonna go to our Blackboard site, and this is what we're gonna be doing. Now, everybody, uh, did not have uh, an electronic uh, to use. And the other thing that I learned was that students work very, very well together and they share their electronics. However, when we did have like true or false, or we did have um, multiple choice, and what I would do, and this was, uh, uh, mo uh, this was manually, is that I did have, and I zeroed these in color, and I got these from Bob, that was true or false, I used these for the students, who did not have an electronic, and they did not feel left out. If we had multiple choice, we did this. And I, and I did notice that it was only about nine in each class that might not have uh, one. So I didn't have to zero us too many, so I just zero us about 12 of these, and they worked just fine. And even though I'm missing three, so they must have liked it, maybe I'm gonna put it on the wall or something. <laughs> and so, uh, and <laughs> so that comes in very, very handy. This is uh, just a, a screenshot of my tours. And so, uh, as you can see here, uh, the other one that I do is called uh, Can Money Buy Happiness? We've already talked about positive psychology in the class. We've already talked about what happiness is. And they had already learned that money doesn't necessarily buy happiness. And so, then we go to this lesson and we interact with that. And, uh, and I would, you know, uh, give them, I would share with them, give them the URL, and they would uh, place it into their uh, electronic and then they can answer several questions. Now, with this particular one, it goes really fast. You know, they ask, they just give you a little bit of information, and then they ask you a question, and we really haven't even caught on to what they have actually uh, said. And I, I'm gonna submit. So let's say we, we click happiness, and then- What truth it. is there in this? And it's really short, and so that's what, you can uh, adapt and change this within the Zaption uh, uh, app. And so it says to complete the sentence below uh, with the word uh, that the speaker says. According to the speaker, money can't buy. And then there's happiness. I'm going to submit this. Thing is there a correlation between money and happiness? And if so, how can we use it to our advantage? Humans are very sensitive to change. When we get a raise or commission, we really enjoy it but we adapt at incredible speeds to our new wealth. The twine with that, and they're bringing in their art, and that's the short movie we're going to be doing with that. Let's put there, and then the movie just goes over and slides over. And that's what we're gonna be doing with that. 